Yo, 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 what's good, y'all? Welcome back to another edition of Manga After Dark. Hope y'all been doing well. Hope the week's been treating y'all well. If you're here, if I'm here, you know what time it is. Pirate Hour. Shout to Ichiro Oda. Shout to TCB Scans. Chapter 1073 of One Piece is out. Miss Buckingham Stussy. So without further delay, let's dive right at, let's dive right into the chapter. All right, so we got Gemini 66 Cold Blood Voyage Volume 29. Uh, awarded the belt, awarded the Ibel Peace Prize for developing the GP flower, a flower that blooms in gunpowder. Interesting. So it's like there's like a tank that's like shooting, uh, like flower petals. There's like two people uh across each other shooting petals at each other. Is this like the basis of Usopp's like pop greens or some or some stuff like that? So we got Judge, uh, Queen, and Caesar all like, what the what was going on? Judge is so scrawny back in the day and smaller. I don't know. It's hard to tell the size of Queen in the uh, cover story versus how tall he is now. Cause Queen's a big, big boy, um, and Judge looking kind of weak. Them, them thin wrists, Judge. Whoa, what's going on? All right, yeah, let's stop. Let me stop roasting Judge. Let's dive right into the chapter. Lucci's reaction to the betrayal. So we're back where we left off last chapter. Kaku sleeping, just dead at, just sleeping, snoring. Then Lucci, this is a bitter pill to swallow. And Stussy's wiping the blood off her mouth. Yo, she's fast. So uh, Lucci went to do the Shigan. And Stussy, Paper Arts, Heartbreak After Image. So when you don't understand, your first instinct is to go for the kill. My, my. So she's pulling out some lipstick. You're so wild. And she like taps Lucci on the throat. A sea stone fucking uh, lipstick thing. It's pretty dope. She gave him the suck. So she goes, ha. Ah. And she bites Lucci on the neck. Hatsuri goes, cool, cool. Then Luchi, da don't. Kaku, you bitch. Then Stussy, I know how strong you boys are. Fighting you fair and square would have been stupid. Forgive me. And Luchi's out. And Hatsuri's flying away. What? Just a moment. What is this? So Brooke is looking on. And Zoro's just chilling right there watching this shit. Why are the CP0 agents at each other's throats? Ha, <laughs> I get it. Then Zoro, friendly fire, huh? Then we got uh, Stussy talking to a Denden uh, Mushi. This is Stussy. I put both of them to sleep. Fan that's fantastic news. Stussy came through. York put... I mean... I guess we should have... I mean, that's Occam's Razor's simplest answers to the the most logical explanation. That the person he called was Stussy and like, oh, that's his first successful clone. But I thought it was going to be another character. I thought Stussy was on her own agenda. Apparently not. This is Stussy. I put them both to sleep. That's fantastic news. Stussy came through. York, pull it together. And York is yawning. Then Usopp. Huh? What's going on? Then Nami. Rob Lucci was beaten. Then Shaka. No doubt he was taken out, taken by surprise. Her loyalty to me has was kept secret even after she spent 20 years as one of their agents. Oh shit. You had a mole in the intelligence branch. It wasn't our intention, but that's how it turned out. Doctor, unfortunately, my authority level is the same as Lucci, so this is just continuing. So I can't override his orders and stop the Seraphim. You've done plenty, Stussy. We're on our way. So all the uh, Vegapunks are heading towards the lab. Then we got Zoro and Brooke. We need to stop those runts before they flatten the others. Right. And it's just and, and, and is it just me or do those kids look familiar? <laughs> Zoro, I know, especially that one. Which one? There's like, there, Zoro should recognize, well, he shouldn't recognize, I guess Hancock, he hasn't technically met, but everyone else, S. Uh, Hawk, S. Bear, S. Shark, 
Zoro should recognize all of them. Thor zooming into the rubble. Fooey, they won't stop blowing holes in the lab. Though I suppose we can use those extra uh, exits to get out faster. And I'm out, said Lilith. So Lilith pops up. Hey, listen, Seraphim. And we got S Hawk stanced up. So Aunt S Hawk is like sizing her up. Beep, beep, beep. Zoro. Oh, hold, hold up. Alright, so Zoro showed up to block S Hawk's attack. Clash. S Hawk is kind of. S Hawk is sweating. On closer inspection, you're not. <laughs> Zoro's such a racist. <laughs> such a racist. Oh, I love this man. On closer inspection, you're not the same. <laughs> you actually have a spark of humanity still. <laughs> What the hell are you? And they disengage. That was a shock. Leave it to so, uh, so Lilith, That was a shock. Then Edison, leave it to me. Seraphim, quit it. Stop fighting immediately. Edison, no, he can't be. He can't be. So Lilith jumps down next to Zoro. Hmm. You looking for this? That was close. Ed, wait, what, what happened? Oh, uh, they thought they thought the Seraphim hit Edison, and Sanji appeared and uh, got Edison out before they killed him. All right, now I get it. So Sanji, you're looking for this? That was close. Then Lilith, Edison, uh, and Lilith, Lilith is crying. The Seraphim finally listened. Can someone tell me what these things are? Shaka, I've bound Rob Lucci and Kaku with Sea Stone. So Zoro's just looking at the at the Seraphim. Much obliged, Stussy. We're leaving the island. You should come with us. Stussy understood. <laughs> the Usopp. Hey, you can't keep adding people. Then we got um, Luffy. Hey, Bonnie. Where'd you go? Old man punk. We can't leave without you. A truly unexpected development. Old man. Dr. Vegapunk's main, st main Stella body has vanished. How? What? A truly unexpected development. Dr. Vegapunk's Stella body has vanished. So what is Bonnie did with them? Did they jump into Kuma's memories? Is that 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 is that where we're going? We're going uh we're gonna literally go uh, take a trip down memory lane? Is that literally what's gonna happen? A literal flashback is what we're about to happen? All right, I'm intrigued. Scene transition. Sphinx, new world. Whitebeard's hometown. Marco. It was so scary. Not for me, it wasn't so those two random kids. There were Marines all over the place. I'm real sorry, kids, Yoi. I didn't mean to leave you in such a bad spot. It's not your fault, Marco. Those Marine meanies were the worst. They said they were here for Whitebeard's treasure. They were just like pirates. Then we got a flashback to the Fog Marines. If you play nice, you won't get hey, hurt, okay? This dude looks like a cat, or is that a rat? I don't know. Remember, this place isn't government affiliated. You have no legal rights here. Kia! Whitebeard must have kept all his treasure here. If you don't tell us, we'll consider it an act of defiance. They're pointing guns to kids! I can shoot you all one by one. If you think that'll make you more talkative. The kids are crying. There is no treasure here. Stop pointing that gun at my little brother. So the other kid steps in front. You really won't treat us as fellow humans just because we can't pay the government? You monster. Then you got the father marine. Are you sure it's wise to act tough when Marco's not around? This dude's a punk. Old lady. Hold her still. They're grabbing the old lady. Hold her still. Yeah, stop it. Please stop this. Gret. They really about to shoot an old lady. Steady. The townspeople, please stop. She's just an old lady. Granny. Plot, plot, plot. What's that? Hmm? Ooh, 
Wah, hands off. Weevil just KOs all of them in one swing. Stay away from Pappy's home. <laughs> Captain Rattle. Yeah. It's it's Edward Weevil. He's just molly whopping all those fodder marines. Warships were meant to hunt down the warlords. Now they're they've they're disbanded. We've lost all contact with the other squad. He got them all. What strength. He's a bona fide monster. Yeah, who did y'all said no name Marine? The Marines should be used to their dudes just dying. Like, I don't know why they're surprised. Like, any pirate with a name, they should be used to their fellow Marines just getting mollywopped. Any pirate worth their salt, they have some type of name to them. It's just beasting these Marines like they're not even there. That, that's commonplace. Alright, uh, let me continue. So I think that in the flashback. The, is the flashbacks continue. Get back to the ship. We need to wait for backup. This is Sphinx. An ex warlord just showed up. It's Weevil requesting immediate assistance. So the kid continues. If that big guy hadn't shown up, the village would have been toast. Then Marco. What a hero. I'm glad you're all safe, Yoi. I mean. Of I mean, I shouldn't be shocked that Bakken's right there. I mean, Weevil was literally just <laughs> there. <laughs> that wasn't the end of it, Marco. Who do you think they sent in after uh, that call for backup? None other than... Off-screened? Two times? Well, the second, the first time wasn't off screen. Who do you think they sent in after that call for backup? None other than Admiral Ryokyu, Ryokyugyo, and he wasn't pulling any punches. They've, they've taken my sweet Weevil away. <laughs> Get me my beloved son back. And while you're at it, fork over Newgate's inheritance to this chick is such a scrub oh my god Weevil got snatched up she former member of the rocks pirates self-proclaimed scientist Mads resident freeloader Miss Buckin Buckingham Stussy so she's an idiot she's a brilliant idiot or just an idiot Self-proclaimed scientist, Mads, resident freeloader. So a lot of people were pointing out how like um, that old lady in Wano was on the rock, has to be on the rocks crew because she knew Stussy, she knew Shiki. Um, it might have actually been confirmed she was on the rocks crew. I'm not actually sure. She knew Kaido, or at least Kaido trusted her. Um, so. I saw like an interesting theory how it's like uh, the clone clone fruit is like legit clones or it's like DNA at all, which makes sense if it's called the clone clone fruit uh, and how like that's how they got the uh, DNA for all the other people. They just like old lady touched them or she got their DNA and then they cloned the old lady and that's how they got the doubles, which seems interesting because if Weevil is a clone of Whitebeard, how the fuck do they get Whitebeard's DNA? Um... That's a mystery. Like, I, mm -hmm. so I don't know. So I'm pretty. I'm curious to see how they're gonna, how many clones there are in the One Piece universe, and how do they get woven into the story? I don't think it's like something like, oh, there's clones everywhere. No, uh, maybe there's a handful. There's no way Oda's gonna go clone crazy and how all these important people are actually clones. I don't think that's how it's gonna go. Um. But it's probably gonna be a couple of more shocking. Oh my god, that person's a clone. Like Bonnie looks like Big Mom. So people are like Big Bonnie. So people, I seen people like Bonnie's Big Mom's uh, clone. That's believable. I mean, <laughs> look at the picture of Bonnie. Look at the picture of Big Mom. There's no way that's a coincidence. No way. Uh, even the lipstick uh, pattern is the same. It's not like oh, there's no way that's a coincidence. Um, and with how Vegapunk doesn't want Bonnie to know what Kuma's memories have. 
the people that are saying that, I mean, people were saying that Bonnie was Big Mom's daughter related to Big Mom a, a while back. Um, so those people might have been right all along. Um, I don't know if they had uh, thought cloning would be the methodology of how they're right, but they might be right nonetheless. There's no way there's that's a quest that Bonnie looks just like Big Mom. Well, not just look like Big Mom, but the phenotype is almost identical. Like this, like, <laughs> like. But like the fact that Bonnie last name isn't Lin Lin, I mean uh, no, uh, Charlotte. That that was shocking. I was like, oh, it's Charlotte Bonnie. No, it's not Jewelry Bonnie. Oh, mm -hmm. all right, I guess. Maybe Oda ran out of uh, ideas for designs. Mm -hmm. right, let me let me continue. Mad's resident freeloader, Miss Bucking, Buckingham Stussy. So it's a flashback. Weevil. And we vote mama. Then we got set. Uh, then we got uh, Marco. I can hear it in your tone. You still doubt he's white beards. Uh, well, I know someone who can prove it. Dr. Vegapunk. How would Vega? I mean, I guess if he's a clone of white beard, technically he's white beard's son. That by Bakken might not be lying, lying. Uh, sent uh, to prison for protecting his father's village. Isn't this tragic? Don't you think our boy has a noble soul? The Marco. Well, I appreciate you guys protecting this place at least, Oyoi. Kizaru san, so One Piece break next week. But the manga continues. Kizaru san, we prepared snacks and tea for our guest. Guest. I'm sure you remember to test for poison. Who are they talking to? Test for poison, right? Of course, sir. Uh, of course, sir. I'll take. I'll take it to him. Back to the post. Yes, sir. It's a world government ship and a marine ship. Okay, okay. Who's he talking to? So, have you ever met Doctor Vegapunk before? Hmm. Once a long time ago. I think what's happening now is truly such a shame. Highest authority in the world of the five elders. Saint J. Garcia Saturn. What a name. One of the big wigs finally makes a move. Saint J. Garcia Saturn. So chapters notes. In addition to referencing the planet god Saturn's name, might refer to two unrelated musicians. Jerry Garcia, his name is very sim similar and he bears the visual resemblance to the character, he does. There's also Russell Garcia who wrote the song called Lost Souls of Saturn. Rattle is named after the honey badger. Saint, so the the highest authority in the new wor in the world, one of the five elders, Saint J Garcia Saturn. Why is he meeting with Kizaru? Pulling up to uh, Egghead. Green Bull caught a W off screen capturing Weevil. Okay. So they're taking Weevil to Impel down. That's definitely where he's going. So like, how does, how does Luffy get looped into this? I don't know, like, does Luffy get looped into this? I don't think he does. This might be uh, Grand Fleet's territory. Like, the narrator says the Grand Fleet will do something. They'll make their names be hollowed, separate from just being associated with Luffy. Storm Nintail pulled down might be it. Um, I don't know how we get the Grand Fleet looped into this. Um, I mean, if they're catching the Wano news, they know Marco's an ally, but... I don't know. This is this is interesting. I generally don't know how you get who's going to get Weevil. So like, so um, Baku wants to prove to Marco that Weevil's Whitebeard's son, because White, because we Marco's like caps the doing Whitebeard's son, because I've been with Whitebeard for a long time. Um, but she says Doctor Vegapunk will prove it. So we know that Egg, so Egghead is on her mind. Vegapunk is on their mind. So 
are we gonna do one of these things where Egghead will end and then as the Straw Hats are just sailing, they'll just run into Marco and Bakken. Is that how we're gonna do this? Um is are we gonna is Marco gonna get off screen killed getting Weevil? Like I, I'm really curious to see how this goes. And, and again, how the chapter ended with Keys are just pulling just talking to the fucking Jay Garcia. Interesting chapter. So still see was the person Vega Punk was talking to all along. Uh she neg diffed uh Kaku and Luchi with her ability. Got that deep throat. Um and that sea stone neck uh lipstick is pretty dope. Pretty cool chapter. Oda's been pretty good with the intrigue so far in Egghead. Um I honestly can't predict where he's going with this. All the different uh, twists and t oh, I missed that Edison booty shot. Whoa, whew, I missed that one. Mm, good thing I went back. Um, but there's a lot of intrigue. There's like this is crap tons of mystery. I cannot. It's hard to predict where O is going with any of this stuff. Um, I thought Weevil and Mark were going to fight, but looks like no. Mark is going to save Weevil. Weevil is going to be an ally after all. Um. Weevil was one hell of an ally to have. Green Bull got some respect back like, uh, after getting punked out by Shanks. He got Weevil out, out of there. Pretty good. Um, but interesting chapter. Uh, let me know what y'all think about the chapter in the comments below. Uh, make sure to like the video. Make sure to, make sure to subscribe. Shout out to TCB Scans. Peace out. Manga After Dark out.